in three, two, one. Hammer down! What is up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and today we'll be looking at the Bring Arts Marvel Universe variant Thor, designed by Tetsuya Nomura. As I said before, he is the designer of Final Fantasy characters and Kingdom Hearts, so this is his take on Thor from the Marvel Universe. We're going to look at paint, detail, articulation, and scale, and accessories, and if you're looking to pick this up, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstartoys.com. The source for awesome action figures. Let's go to the top cam. Enough of me talking. I talk too much. You're here to look at action figures. You're not here to listen to me talk. Come on now. All right, so we're going to open this up. Let's see how it is. Gosh. Again, with the sticker that refuses to cut. Supposedly, from what I hear, and I don't really like to hear a lot of things about reviews because then it would ruin the perception of an unboxing that this one could possibly be the best one. Now, my favorite one is Captain America, but this one looks really solid. Let's look here at the top cam. Let's see what we're looking at here. Lots of cool stuff. We got a fully armored Thor right here. Looks like we get Mjolnir. We also get Stormbreaker. We get a staff that combines them. And we get, even though we don't didn't with the other two, we do get indeed an effect piece. Actually, we get two effect pieces Wow, that is really, really cool. So now let's look at the front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, look at this. First things first. Yes, indeed, we get a cloth cape. Is it wired, though? And the answer to that question is no. This is not a wired cape. In fact, the cape looks a little bit too small for my taste. We could spread it out just a little bit, but that's as far as it goes. It just goes back into place. But that's not what we're here for. We're here actually to look at the face of Thor. Let's see if we can focus up there. Gosh, come on. Let's focus up. And there we have it. So first things first, I can hardly see his eyes. Uh, they're really in there. They almost look like white with a little bit of blue in the pupils. Actually, no, I don't think he even has um, blue pupils in the eyes. This is like a charged up Thor right there. So you can't even really see the inside of the eyes right there. So, But you do get the beard, which is really nice. So obviously, you got to have a beard when you have Thor. But let's look at the metallic helmet, wow. The metallic paint on these look really good, really shiny. As you can see, the light reflects off it and it looks really, really good. It looks like every, like I said before, a lot of these look very Iron Man-esque. It looks like Iron Man decided to give everyone his armor and this is how it looks like. Let's look at the body armor right there. It's looking really good. Like I said, metallic sheen and shine looking really good, especially on the arms right here where it covers. And let's see the gold parts on the gauntlets looking Really good. I have to say, this is indeed one of the best looking ones of the series, and it looks really good. Now, let's look at the legs. Looks like we have gold on there, which is really nice sheen on that gold right there and on the legs right there. Look at the boots as well. Very well designed. Lots of straight lines, metallic, metallic robotic type looking character. Very cool. Now, if you're, you're thinking like, hey, where did this come from? This is kind of like, you know, when Play Arts Kai did their own like design, this is kind of the same uh, thing going on here. It's kind of like they designed their own, like Nomura decided, hey, I want to give like this Iron Man look to um, the characters of Marvel, and this is exactly what we get. And to me, personally, I really like this one. I think right now, oh man, they could have really benefited with a wired cape. This is not wired, unfortunately. Uh, and also it's really thin, so it's not as dynamic. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's move on to articulation and scale. Let's take out the ruler right here. And he is standing, let's see, okay, here we go. He is standing six and a half inches tall. Now we gotta get other action figures for him to stand with. And give me one second here as I get everyone to stand here. So there's Thor, bring arts. Captain America. So that looks really cool right there. Let's turn up the light a little. Marvel Legends, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Woo, look at the size in comparison. But what about real deal Mafex Spider-Man? It looks like they scale really well. This is more of an adult Spider-Man anyway. And 
Axel from Streets of Rage, Storm Collectibles. So, yeah, not so much for this one. So there you have it. He's scaled really well. Let's talk about articulation here. Have an up and down here at the toe. Have an up and down here at the ankle. No side swivel on the ankle right there. We get a double jointed knee right here. Ball joint right here at the crotch. Really solid kicks. Uh, this one's a little bit hindering on that front kick, but that's not really that big of a deal. We get two joints right here at the midsection. And that rotation isn't happening right here. It looks like it's really tight. I noticed this also happened, I believe, with my Iron Man. Yeah, you have to really move it around, but the top one moves around much easier, as you can see right there. The articulation point on that is much better. We have butterfly joint as before. We have bicep swivel, really nice. Bend at the elbow, ball and peg here at the wrist, and two at the neck, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Of course, we gotta go, boom, hammer down, bam, bam, superhero landing pose, and almost as the arm fell off. <laughs> Hold on one second. Everyone, please stand by. Okay, anyway, so that just came off. Pops back in real easy. It looks like we're going to have trouble doing the superhero landing pose. And I think the reason why we're having this issue is indeed the, um, the skirt part is kind of getting away and hindering. Also, we have this part and the butt armor part is also hindering that leg to fully go down. And that's pretty much it. So let's get some more poses in. We got front kick, we got side kick, we got flying knees. Let's back up. We got uppercuts and shore yukins. This arm really needs to be tightened. Looks like we needed some fixer elixir on that. And there you have it. There's his uppercut right there. Let's see if we can raise the camera a little bit. So that he can do all kinds of things. There's his poses and stuff like that. So yes, he is indeed super posable if that's what you were wondering. Now let's move on to accessories. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's go to the top cam. Wow, lots of accessories. Here is the effect piece. Here is Stormbreaker. There's Stormbreaker right there. Here's Mjolnir. And of course, we have the staff to combine them. And uh, we'll see. And we have an assortment of hands. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Nope. And of course, we get the stand and an extra effect piece right there, which looks really, really cool. So, first things first, let's look here in the front cam. Let's zoom into Mjolnir right here. And here's Mjolnir. Again, we're looking at that beautiful shine on that metallic hammer, looking really, really good. And now let's look at Stormbreaker. See if we can focus up there. Stormbreaker, again, look at with that futuristic metal look, metallic, beautiful shine on there. Very, very nice. And let's look at the rod that kind of, or the staff that brings them together. There it is. Again, we're looking at that beautiful metallic shine. So I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to outfit him, and we're going to see how he is. Everyone, please stand by. All right, everyone. And here we have him, uh, dual-wielding Mjolnir and Stormbreaker. As you can see, these look really cool. Now, here's one thing I have to tell you. Uh, when putting these guys on wow the tolerance in putting this in his hand Super tight. I had such a hard time plugging that in it is Really tough. It's almost like I have to get some hot water to loosen that up I mean obviously it will not fall out of his hands anymore But the fact that it's just so tight is like ooh, it felt like I was gonna break it um, but yeah, that is the tightest it has ever been when putting in an accessory, but you don't have to worry about it falling. Now, one thing I don't like, again, what is this? Come on, crappy effect piece. <laughs> it just doesn't look good, and you get two of them. Not a fan of this one. It should have been molded to the hammer and much more, um, what do you call it? It should be bigger instead of this is a weak lightning effect. Throw that away. Don't like that. So here it is. This looks good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put this together. And I believe this is how you do it. When you do the combination. Yeah, so this is definitely how you do it. And look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. Does it come apart? No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, that looks really, really solid. Uh, let's see. It should come apart. Yeah, it does. That's what I thought. So it does come apart. So you can have like really long metallic um, <laughs> handles for these two. <laughs> Don't know why you'd want that, but uh, 
but yeah, mostly what that's for. See, that was so tight. My goodness. Uh, especially Mjolnir. I'm gonna and this one. This one. See, I'm just gonna show you how tough this is. Let's pull this hand off. Ah! Oh my gosh, that's not even coming out. <laughs> that's how tight that is. No joke, people. No joke. I'm gonna have to get some hot water to loosen that up. My goodness, that is incredibly incredibly tight so what we're gonna do right now is I think we're just gonna do this again with the tightness they really needed to loosen the tolerance on that hand my goodness that's insanely tight like almost wow I have to jeez that that's insane that's insane so oh my gosh so yeah that ah everyone give me a second so there you have it. That's him with the combination Mjolnir and Stormbreaker, right? So usually you should be able to two-hand this or he can hold it like this, very kingdom artsy. And I guess once we stand him up, we will come up with a conclusion. I do have some issues with this, as you can see. Um, and let's talk about it. I think this just has to do with quality control, maybe with the design as well. So let's come up with a conclusion of the Bring Arts um, Marvel Universe Thor. Here's the biggest issue. Obviously, I was suffering through this review. Oh, the hands, the hands, the hands. What is up with these tight tolerances? It, my goodness, it was so tough to get that in. It's so tough to take it off. This could be really a turnoff for certain people that don't know what to do. Uh, but I'm here to tell you how to fix it. Hot water, three minutes, water, mug, microwave. Take it out. Dunk that hand in the hot water, put on the accessory, it should fit super easy. That's exactly what I'm going to do at the end of the video. Man, if you didn't know what to do, you could possibly break your figure. That sucks. So, hopefully, before you buy this, you're looking at this review so you know what to do. Another thing when it comes to quality control, again, this arm kept coming off. This one is not. This one's super tight. This Everything else is tight except for this forearm that kept coming off. Uh, that was kind of discerning, but no real big issue. I know how to tighten it up with Fixer Elixir. By the way, shout out to Jobby the Hong, who have been who has been using my Fixer Elixir on his stream. Thank you so much. Uh, a lot of people have been using Fixer Elixir to fix their toys, so I'm glad that the word is going out. So, besides that, I love this figure. I love the way he looks. I really like where Bring Arts is going with these characters. Some people might not like them. I'm not going to lie. This is not for everybody. The whole like Iron Man-esque look. Uh, the metallic armor and whatnot. But I love it, man. This looks so cool to me and I'm glad that I got it. If you're looking to pick these guys up, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstormtoys.com. You'll have source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.